Here's a rare color movie look at the preparation and launch of a captured German V-2 rocket at White Sands in New Mexico. Some of the archival footage we find with extensive caption materials that can be corroborated. Other batches have little accompanying data and are a bit like opening an old can of home movies, but what a subject. The details with this V-2 footage says it was made in 1946, that's plausible. Although it came from U.S. Navy holdings, it also has U.S. Army listed as the producer. We're guessing this material may have been edited into a film or briefing at some time many years ago, but this raw footage is all we have today. A number of Navy personnel and a shiny gray Navy Jeep tell us this launch had Navy involvement. The V-2 has been hastily painted white. Close-ups show streaks and darker color beneath the white sprayed-on finish. Scenes taken around the V-2 assembly and launch area at White Sands set the tone. The concrete blockhouse designed to withstand the impact of a falling V-2 is clearly seen. Views of the mountains around the launch area hint at the rugged beauty of New Mexico. After the launch, observers peer into the distance. The launch pad is cleaned up of debris and the equipment used for the V-2. The red tower in the vicinity was erected for launching WAC Corporal rockets. 
The takeoff of Stinson L5s suggests a search for where the V2 came to Earth. The remainder of the footage looks like part scenic trip and part desert campout, evidently as the men keep searching for the V2's impact site. Captions with the film do not indicate the outcome of the search. There may be an answer to this mystery in George P. Kennedy's book, The Rockets and Missiles of White Sands Proving Ground, published by Schiffer Military History. Kennedy's detailed information says the instrument-laden nose cone from V-2 number 9, launched on July 30, 1946, was never found. That rocket carried aloft multiple experiments, including a payload for the Naval Research Lab. Possibly that is a clue to the presence of Navy personnel in these film scenes. I'm Fred Johnson for the Air Rail Images channel. Thank you for watching. And please subscribe if you have not already done so. We appreciate it.